Hi, I'm Mei. Uh, I'm from China. And three years ago, I have to date a guy. I have to. I dated a guy from Brazil. And there was six months uh, we have to stay apart from each other. And since we really care about this relationship, and we tried lots of things to make it work. So whenever we were available, we are trying to get contact with each other. Phone calls, videos, messages. And sometimes I don't get an instant reply from a message. And then I'll be sad. I'll be worried. And then we create a shared schedule towards two of us and to make sure we have the transparency, which helps a lot to increase the trust and secure with the relationship at that time. But we, are, we want more. We don't want the relationship as it is. It was. We want it to be better. So we tried lots of things to build a special experience together, like uh, sending gifts to each other, go watch a movie together, and we just fly to meet each other in person. And after six months, we survived, and now we're married. <laughs> <laughs> so looking back, I think these are the three points uh, really helped us a lot at that time with the long distance relationship. And then I realized, Actually, I'm also working on a long-distance relationship project. The project has half of the team located in China and the other half located in Australia. How did it work that out? So if you know Agile Manifesto, there is one guideline that is like this. The most effective way to convey information within and to the development team is face-to-face -face conversation. So we are tr trying to achieve the face-to-face -face conversation even when we are working remotely. And we set up so starting with set up a monitor and a camera next to our team space to be able to always see the other side of the team, just as if they're sitting on a table next to us. And we call this setup always on. And with the always on, it's much easier to get fast response from the team other than waiting for a reply or message or email. And when we have questions, for instance, I want to discuss about the requirements, we just went to the always on and have a face-to-face -face conversation. And we also use it for stand-ups, or architecture discussions. And we also use it for some casual conversations, like for the sake of team building. How's their day? How's their weekend? And always on is a very good idea, right? It's, not, it's also very easy to set up. All we need to do is connect those things together with a stable internet and create a shared team account. That's it. And it's very good for instant communication, conversations. There are also lots of tools to help us to share information. And with four hours time difference, it's really hard to find people and plan things ahead for the team. So we start with everyone keep their calendar up to date and also share it with the whole team to increase the transparency. We also value knowledge sharing together as well. So by remote pairing, the other half of the team is able to know the work status much better, and also we manage to leverage the knowledge across the team, even when with the distance. And also, with the time goes on, the team could evolve differently with the distance. So we have uh, lots of meetings set up to synchronize. One example is the retrospective. We sit down as a team to find the improvements and actions to support each other. There are lots of tools we're actually already using as Klarna. And there are also some tools we're not really using, but could help us a lot as well. For instance, the Screen Hero for the remote pairing, or the idea boards for the remote retrospective. So those are for the daily works. We also want to try to build special memories, special experiences, like celebrate a release together as one team, or just have a Swedish Fika together remotely. The remote hackathon is, was lots of fun as well. We build mixed team from both locations and starting from design the solution to implement the whole idea. And the team learns to collaborate well very intensively in, within the very intensive time. We embrace the limitation of the distance. We're also trying to break it. So every quarter, we are sending people around uh, to visit each other. And also activity like we're having today or tomorrow, the company offsite, it's a good opportunity for the team to build. So isn't it very similar in both cases? We really need to put lots of effort in the communication and keep sharing information, and also trying to do something different to build special experience for the team. It is a long way from China to Brazil. As long as we're not sitting in the same building, we're kind of working remotely. How do we work that out? I believe with love and care, we could deliver our project together, no matter where we are. Thank you.